Hello and welcome to Hakista TV and today let's talk about Proxmart 3 Easy. Now before Flipper Zero, this is the go-to device for RFID testing. But for modern times, it is slowly showing its weakness, especially when it comes to portability. Like for example, it is hard to make full use of its functionality without plugging it in a computer, where you need to be comfortable entering commands on a console. Now second, the lack of built-in memory. In this, it can only store two cards at once, and the moment it lost its power, those two cards will also be lost. And the third is the lack of built-in power supply where you would need a battery connected here or a power bank for it to be functional. Now, one way to solve this problem is using an Android phone and downloading the app called Walrus. Now, bear in mind that Walrus can run on any Android phone. And let's take a look if we open it up. Okay, it's just a blank blue screen. We would be needing an OTG cable like this. So let's attach it to the phone. And let's attach the USB A side here. And let's attach the micro USB on the top of the Proxmart 3. Easy. Now it means that it is now ready to read. There will be a notification on Walrus. Let's just click OK. And if we go here, as you can see, Proxmark 3 is connected. We go to device. And we can see now that Proxmark 3 is idle. Okay. Want to see something cool? <laughs> Flower Zero has a functionality called RFID Fuzz, a fuzzer, fuzzer, RFID fuzzer. I think it's on tools. I'm using an Unleash firmware. RFID fuzzer. Okay, let's do an HID prox. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put flipper zero here and let's gonna make it run. Let's do a bulk read and let's click play. Okay, choose a source Proxmark 3 HID and let's try to emulate it. Let's just increase the time delay and let's put it here and click start. And let's watch it read all of those RFID being sent by the flipper zero. Cool, right? So let's stop the flipper zero. And as you can see, all of the RFID being sent by flipper zero is being read by the Walrus app on an Android phone. And that is how you will solve the portability problem of the Proxmark 3 Easy using your very own Android phone. Now, to conclude, it's a shame that the development of the Walrus app has been discontinued, but it does solve the three portability problems of Proxmark 3 Easy. And Proxmark 3 is a cheaper alternative to than acquiring a flipper phone. And I hope you like this video. And if you do, watch my other suggested video here on Hakista TV. Till next time, my fellow Hakista.